According to Epic Records CEO Sylvia Rohn, the record, which is currently Titlutopia, is expected to release in June of 2023. This would be five years after his previous album, A Straw World, which released in August of 2018. Travis Scott's new album is expected to release in June. What do you see as Epic's biggest successes of the past year, and what can we expect in the coming year? We have a new Travis Scott record, expected to come in June, Utopia has been hyped up for four years now and people are exited that his new album will be this year early summer. Utopia was delayed after the tragic events that occurred at Scott's Astroworld Festival. Travis Scott reportedly volunteered to pay the funeral expenses on November 24, the day after Blount was buried. Scott's lawyer, Daniel Petrocelli, wrote that Scott was devastated and committed to doing his part to help the families who have suffered. The Blount family declined Scott's offer to cover the funeral expenses in a letter put forward by lawyer Bob Hilliard. Your client's offer is declined. I have no doubt Mr. Scott feels remorse. His journey ahead will be painful. He must face and hopefully see that he bears some of the responsibility for this tragedy. Hilliard wrote, Everyone was pushing. It was so tight with no exits. His dad couldn't breathe at all and passed out. We don't really know what happened to Ezra after that grandmother Tarishia Blount told Rolling Stone. Hilliard wrote that Scott must respect that his own devastation does not match that of Ezra's family, which he likened to a faucet of unimaginable pain that has no off-handle, there may be, and I hope there is, redemption and growth for him on the other side of what this painful process will be. And perhaps one day, once time allows some healing for the victims and acceptance of responsibility by Mr. Scott and others, Tristan and Mr. Scott might meet, as there is also healing in that, Hilliard wrote. To lose a child in the manner Tristan lost Ezra compounds the pain, he wrote. As a parent, Tristan cannot help but agonize over the terrible idea that Ezra's last minutes were filled with terror, suffering, suffocation, and worst of all surrounded by strangers his dad unconscious underneath the uncontrolled crowd. Since then, multiple families, such as the families of Axel Acosta and Brianna Rodriguez, have reached settlements with both Scott and Live Nation. A few months after the event happened, he started getting back on track with songs he was featured on. God's Country was a song appeared in Kanye West Donda album. The album wasn't released on popular streaming platforms. Just this year God's Country surfaced online in its full version. Travis Scott spent a year without giving fans what they are looking for. Sure no album yet for 2022 but Pharrell Williams had to get Travis Scott on his new song Down in Atlanta. Demons Protected by Angels is an album from Nav. It was released this year with a few rappers on the album. On Never Sleep Song is where you can hear the voice of Travis Scott along with Lil Baby. Hold That Heat is a song by Future and Travis Scott. This song didn't appear on Future's I Never Liked You album. Hold That Heat is a kind of joint single from the Southside rappers. They also shared the official music video. SZA's SOS album tracklist revealed that the album featured a few artists which include Travis Scott on the song Open Arms, other songs are Ghost in the Machine featuring Phoebe Bridgers and Don Toliver on the song Love. He was on the song Pussy and Millions with Draka 21 Savage giving a long verse, he was the only feature on the collab album Her Loss with Drake and 21, he was also on four songs from Metro Boomin's album Heroes and Villains, he was on songs with Future, Young Thug, and 21 Savage, with songs like Niagara Falls, Raindrops, Trance, and Lock On Me. He has since gone on to tease the project with several billboards that led to Coachella last year and now is releasing his new album in June. Scott teased more details on the sound of Utopia. I'm in this new album mode where it's like psychedelic rock, Scott told WWD. Double quotes so even just like the field of cactuses and mushrooms, you might get tripped out. In a previous interview with ID Magazine, the Goosebumps rapper explained that he is developing a new sound for his upcoming project. Travis said, I never tell people this, and I'm probably going to keep it a secret still, but I'm working with some new people and I'm just trying to expand the sound. He added I want to make a new sound. I might spend days banging my head against a wall trying to figure it out, but once I do it, it's like ultimate ecstasy. In an interview for CR Men, Travis revealed the meaning behind his Utopia album, medicine, nursing, being a better person, talking, language, communication you know, a utopian state. That's what my album is about. Travis continued, 
you think utopia is a society where everything is good, health, buildings, architecture, nah. It's just about proper lines of communication, he said, because that's the dystopian shit we're in right now. It's all hate, 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 and all of that is drawn from what? Miscommunication, non-communication, non-understandable communication, ignorance to communication. I don't like this person. Why? Because somebody told me something to not like this person. Because in history I read to not like this person. This information sounds pretty interesting to me. I wonder how this will make people feel. You should tell me your opinion on this in the comments section below. Be sure to like a subscribe for more content on the daily. And hit the notification bell to be notified when we post.